Hi folks, Uts here. I just wanted to give you a quick overview over some of the new features in the recently released Houston Tracker 2.10. I'm going to record the video from an emulator because that's easier to record. So just so you know. Uh, okay, oh, I already got a small sound loop prepared here. It's basically, oh, there's some notes in channel one, there's no notes in channel two, there's uh, some notes in channel three. Sounds like this. Oh, okay, that's the regular stuff. Now for the new features. Uh, we can now set the duty cycle on channel 1 as well. Like previously it was just on channel 2 and 3, but now we got it on channel 1 as well. And the command for that is 4xx. So, yeah for that nice gritty sound. And the nice thing about the um, 4xx command is that you can combine it with the what was previously the A01 command. Like uh, this glitchy noisy kind of uh, stuff. In order to do so you have to set the duty value to a value higher than hex 80. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, see what happens. Yeah, glitchy sounds. Okay. So the next new effect is also one uh, that goes for channel one, is the CXX effect or note cut. So this works pretty much as you might expect it. Like here you got your speed setting, right? So eight means that each row takes eight ticks or eight frames to execute, if you will. So if you want to cut after two frames, for example, then you would enter CO2. And now you get these uh, short bursts instead of the whole tone. Okay, so that's the ones affecting channel one. So let's mute channel one for a sec here so we can hear what's going on. Uh, next up, we got a new glitch effect for channel three. It's a bit similar to the noise effect on channel one, but uh, yeah, the sound range is a little different. So um, let's go ahead and check that out. Regular sound, glitch enabled. Yeah! Okay, uh, you can do some pretty interesting things with this. Like so, or like uh, even that kind of stuff's possible. Yeah, so that's that effect. Mm, let's go ahead and disable that again. And we got another one, which is execute note table on channel 3. Now, the way this works, it's again, it's a tick or frame based uh, effect. And the way it operates is you basically create a new pattern that you don't use in the sequence. I've already created one here, as you can see. And you will link that to the uh, effect and then Houston Tracker will go through all these nodes in one row. So basically you can use it to make arpeggios without having to like uh, put the speed on ultra high. So that's that. And uh, another one. Mm. Like uh, you can, you can't just make up edges with this. You can also do other stuff, obviously. Like, say you wanted to do a kind of kick drum. Oh, let's quickly try that here. Um, and there's some notes. So far, so bad. And there we go, yeah, you got sort of kick drum. 
Oh, that's all I wanted to show you for now. Uh, if you want to hear more, I've got a new demo tune on uh, my SoundCloud. Links in the description below. And of course, yeah, check out the new Houston Tracker version. Uh, let me hear if you like it, if you want any uh, improvements or uh, new stuff, or if you find any bugs, of course. So, well, check it out and take care.